Hi, welcome to Storytime. My name's Reading Rachel. Do you want to know what today's story is? Okay, today is an extra special day because we have two Angelina Ballerina stories. And the first one is Angelina on stage. And the second one is Angelina, star of the show. And they're both written by Katherine Holliford, and they're both illustrated by Helen Craig. Are you ready to read? Okay. Angelina on stage. Angelina's cousin Henry liked to go to her ballet lessons at Miss Lily's and join in the dancing. Henry always followed close behind Angelina, copying her graceful steps but he wiggled and wobbled and didn't look like a ballet dancer at all. After each class, Angelina showed Henry the right way to do the plies and the arabesques and twirls. But Henry kept on dancing in his own funny way. Then one day, Miss Lily received a letter from Mr. Popoff, the great musical director. Angelina, said her ballet teacher, how would you like to be a magic fairy in a real grown-up's ballet. Angelina was thrilled. Oh, yes, she cried. It is called the Gypsy Queen, said Miss Lily excitedly. Then she turned to Henry. Mr. Popiff needs a little elf, too, and you're the perfect size. Hooray, shouted Henry. But Angelina just crossed her fingers for good luck, hoping he wouldn't do anything too silly. At rehearsals, Angelina learned to fly through the air with a special wire attached to her costume so that she looked like a fairy floating down out of the sky. Henry was supposed to scamper through the woods below looking for the fairy, but he often got mixed up and went the wrong way. All the actors and actresses adored Henry anyway, and during the breaks, the lovely Madame Zizi gave him little treats in her dressing room. Then Mr. Popiff decided that Henry should say something on stage, and Angelina felt very jealous. Everyone cheered when Henry came on stage and said in his little squeaky voice, there goes my friend, the magic fairy but he was not so good at finding his way from the dressing room to the stage, and he was always getting lost. On the night of the first performance, everyone backstage was very excited. Angelina waited in the wings with her crown on and her wand ready as the audience crowded into the theater and the orchestra began to play. Madame Zizi glanced around nervously and said, oh dear, where's my little elf? Angelina ran wildly through the corridors looking for Henry and bumped into him as he was running the wrong way down the hall. I got lost again, Henry sobbed as Angelina grabbed his hand and raced back to the stage. Angelina had her special wire fastened just in time. She soared up over the trees, waving her magic wand as Henry jumped out from the wings and skipped through the woods to the front of the stage. Henry turned and saw the theater filled with lights and a sea of strange faces. He couldn't open his mouth. He just stared out at the audience. For an awful moment, nothing happened. Serves him right, thought Angelina, still feeling annoyed. But when she looked down and saw how terrified Henry looked, she felt sorry for him. Angelina waved her magic wand and called to Henry in a loud, clear voice. Hello, little elf, can you see me? Henry looked up with relief and said, there goes my best friend, the magic fairy. At the end of the show, Angelina and Henry took a curtain call with the actors and dancers. The audience cheered and clapped, and the director thanked everyone for a wonderful performance. Madame Zizi gave Angelina some of her own roses, and Mr. Popiff smiled at her and said, You're a fine actress, and you'll have a speaking part too from now on. Angelina was so pleased that she took Henry by the hands and waltzed around the stage with him until they were both very dizzy. Wow, I really love that story. I think it's important to know that everybody gets jealous once in a while, but the important thing is Angelina did the right thing and helped Henry overcome his stage fright and the show ended up just the way it was supposed to. Are you ready for our second story? Okay. Angelina, star of the show. Welcome aboard the Jolly Rat, Angelina, said Grandma and Grandpa. Are you ready to set off for the Mouseland Dance Festival? I can't wait, said Angelina. I'm going to think up a special dance on the way so I can be the star of the show. 
Do you like my costume? It's lovely, but we need all paws on deck to get the boat to the festival, Grandpa reminded her as he started the engine. But Angelina wasn't listening. She skipped around the deck, imagining her great performance. Aren't you going to wear your overalls, asked Grandma in surprise. Angelina smiled sweetly and shook her head. I've decided to stay in my costume, she said. The jolly rat chugged along through the countryside. Angelina twirled and danced, stopping only to pester her grandparents with questions. What do you think of this step, Angelina asked. Does this look nice? You're a sailor now, Grandma reminded her sternly, but Angelina was too busy dancing to be a sailor. The jolly rat needs a new coat of paint, Grandpa announced, and he handed Angelina a paintbrush. But Grandpa, I really have to practice. I've got a whole new dance routine to think up, said Angelina. And she spun into Grandpa's can of paint and waltzed off, leaving little footprints all over the deck. After that, Grandpa decided Angelina should help Grandma down in the galley. But Angelina forgot to watch the soup while she practiced plies and it boiled over. That afternoon, Angelina worked on her arabesques, and it wasn't long before she got all tangled up in Grandma's clothesline and Grandpa's fishing line. She had to be rescued by both her grandparents, who were getting very grumpy. That's enough, Angelina, they cried. When Angelina went to bed that night, she promised Grandma and Grandpa that she would stop dancing, but the very next morning, Angelina forgot and performed a magnificent series of leaps along the deck. The deck was slippery and Angelina lost her balance. She tumbled right into a can of oil and got covered from head to toe in horrible black grease. Oh no, look what I've done, Angelina gasped. Her beautiful costume was ruined. Angelina was so horrified that she raced below the deck to her bunk bed and cried her heart out. Then just when she had decided she was the worst mouseling in the world, Grandma came to give her a cuddle. I'm sorry, Grandma, Angelina sobbed. I haven't been very helpful, have I? I know you're sorry, said Grandma, as she dried Angelina's tears. I haven't got anything to wear to the dance festival now, sniffed Angelina, and I can't do my dance without a costume. Well, let's see what's in my old trunk, suggested Grandma. And there, inside the trunk, they found a beautiful sailor suit. That was my favorite outfit, Grandma said. And that's me wearing it, she added proudly, pointing to a faded photograph that was hanging on the wall. Oh, gasped Angelina excitedly. Do you think I could borrow it if I'm very careful? Of course, smiled Grandma. I'll add some special ribbons. For the rest of the journey, Angelina wore her old overalls and she tried very hard to be a real sailor. Before long, she could steer the jolly rat down the mouse tail canal. She swabbed the decks and painted the woodwork with Grandpa and she cooked with Grandma down in the galley. She even baked her grandparents some cheddar cheese pies. And in the evenings after supper, while Grandpa played his penny whistle, Grandma showed Angelina some of her favorite dances. Thank you, Grandma, said Angelina one night. You've given me a wonderful idea. A few days later, the jolly rat arrived at the Mouseland Dance Festival with a new coat of paint and all decked out in garlands of flowers. Angelina proudly tooted the horn. We're here, she shouted. As the festival opened, Grandpa played his penny whistle and Angelina performed her new dance. It was a special sailor's jig that she practiced with Grandma. The crowds loved the show and cheered for more. Hooray for the little sailor, they shouted. When the evening was over, Angelina hugged her grandparents. You really were the star of the show, said Grandma. And you're the very best Grandma and Grandpa in all of Mouseland, Angelina replied. Then they joined paws and skipped happily back to the Jolly Rat. Wow, it really is hard to stop having fun and do what you're supposed to do with your family sometimes. I think we all get a little caught up in our fun, but it is important to remember that if you want to have nice things, you do have to take care of them. Well, I really hope you like these two Angelina Ballerina stories. She certainly is my favorite little mouseling. Well, if you like these stories, please be sure to follow along with Reading Rachel, where if you have a book, you have a friend, and I'm your friend too.
拜。